All right, good evening, and welcome to uh, what should be just a normal stream again uh, with Doom Eternal. I'm, I'm not sure how many levels I'm going to play, probably just two, and then leave the final level for like another day, because I think if I do three levels, I'll be here for a long time, because I know the last level is pretty long as well. Um... So that's probably what I'm gonna do. Hell, even like the second level that I'm gonna play tonight is pretty long. But I'm hoping to also play some other games tonight. Man, this is fucking warm today. Actually thinking of maybe opening like a window or something. Please. 255 XP to claim. Oh, people haven't been very active. <laughs> oh well, doesn't matter if I have anything to unlock really. What level am I even at? Where can I see that? I oh, hear a 37. I'm planning to rebind a few keys of mine. We just, uh... Let's see, let's see. Uh, SSG. Ballista. And then rocket launcher I want on that. And then switch equipment. I will put on X. Hopefully that'll work out for me. during the crucial moments. Hey, Toaster. Yeah, we will play this game forever. I'm now like an official sponsored uh, Doom Eternal streamer. So I'm only allowed to stream this game 24 seven. Nice to see you, man. Did I get some more lore, by the way? No, I did not. I gotta get in the mood again. That's the wrong weapon mod I have equipped. Better than playing Fortnite. I agree with that. Yeah. Absolutely better. Into the fire. I was watching uh, a buddy of mine, King Dime, play Ultra Nightmare last night. He's doing another run today. He died at, like, the second last level during a boss fight that I'm gonna probably play tonight. Felt very bad for him. Oh fuck. Why is he not dying? Took 
like way too many shots, what the fuck? Maybe I should have just uh, jumped over here. But yeah, that was... I have a fucked up. I'm struggling with keeping my lives up, so I'm glad that I'm doing a nightmare run instead of an extra lives mode run. Uh, yeah, ultra nightmare is single life. Um... So now, this is still a regular nightmare run that I'm doing. I am after this run, I'm gonna do an extra lives mode run, which is basically uh, ultra nightmare, but with extra lives. So if you run out of lives and die, it's game over. And ultra nightmare is just one life. But I'm I'm gonna need the practice because like like you can see, I'm only on two lives now, so. I'm, I'm, I'm really fucking up badly now. But that's what the fuck. I'm really playing awfully now, and I just lost all my lives. So yeah, great. <laughs> I was- I'm just not properly reacting to the enemies. Like, I was too slow with switching to my grenade launcher and I didn't shoot the grenade. It's just not prepared properly. Hopefully I can uh, change that a little bit by getting back in the- in the mood. stuff Why am I playing like shit? I'm really playing like garbage.
I'm just not feeling it tonight. At least not at this moment. Jesus fuck. Why did he not die? Jeez, man. So I heard stories that using the ballista works against these guys' shields, but it doesn't seem to work at all. So yeah, that's a bit of a waste of ammo. Because I'm gonna have to be using the plasma. Prowler, man. At least I didn't die while having no lives. So in an extra lives run, this would have still counted. But yeah, I was really sucking hard the first uh, 15 minutes or so. Like, I needed to get warmed up, and I didn't really uh, take that chance to get my ass kicked instantly. <sighs> Necrovol part two. This is one of the soul spires identified in the Argenta texts. Well, into the central columns of Necrovol, although most soul spires were linked directly to Argenta Nur through a hell priest created continuum gate. This particular one is linked to Erdak, the homeworld of the Makers. There is no continu continuum gate here, presumably due to the Count Maker's natural distrust of the of those under his charge. The soul spires were designed by the Makers to accelerate the processing of mortal victims into Argent energy, and built in secret by sentinel slaves under the direction of o Order Dag. This forced labor was a crucial step in fulfilling the Count Maker's desire for Argent for Argent as beings from Erdak are unable to cross over for, to Hell's Dimension. Ah. Uh, I got a lot of weapon points. Oh, and coins, apparently. Ah. Uh. I can max everything, so why not? <clears throat> As for mastery, I mean... Maybe grenade launcher, so I can spam more grenades. And maybe the heat blast as well. Rocket launcher, not that important. 
Arbalests. I mean, I got how many tokens? Five. So it doesn't really matter. Like, I can just get sticky bombs. And... Heat Blast as well. Uh, Arbalest potentially. Maybe full auto. And... I don't know. I don't really need anything else, maybe. What does energy shield do? Doing enough damage for the chain gun while the energy of the work will launch forward on release. Guess, maybe. <laughs> maybe micro missiles. Even though I just use. Uh. Minigun instead, so... Destroyer Blade... That is not that useful, honestly. I don't know what I'll use that on. Wait, did I miss a secret encounter there? Fuck, I did. Load checkpoint. Fucking Mac, there. Fuck. Really? Ugh. I should have frozen the Mac. Look at that horrible aim of mine. That was some absolutely terrible aim. This is raw Argent energy. The suffering on Earth, the bloodshed, all the it for this. Once the soul is extracted, the husk of the human body will over time transform into the demons of Vietnam. The extracted soul of the remains will power their will. The essence of hell. Fuck. The flame boy appeared.
Surprised he didn't die after the second blink though, because I did get him twice there. I expected a stagger. Because I did hit him pretty clean. But I probably didn't hit him, hit him with enough pellets on the SSG. Wow, man, the fucking shields absolutely in the way. Fuck my life. Oh. Where's our marauder boy? Still playing like shit. <laughs> These girls are having a pleasant day. Eternal Flame Part 2. The Maker's need of the essence is prime. Without it, they must suffer the monstrous fate of transfiguration and see their wisdom and faculties slither from their twisted forms. By the bidding of the Khan Maker herself, the Order of the Daik has revised the method to improve and accelerate the production of the Halara. What once took eons for the savage beast to attain can now be accomplished in short order by Argenta intellect and with greater efficiency and consistency. Constructed the soul spires, vast halls erected in the savage lands by our slaves and our 
and under direction of the order. Even though we raised the monument on the their ground, demon kind does not harry us during assembly of our soul spires for the Khan Maker herself. A barter to deal with the Dark Lord that rules over the Shadow Walkers. A bargain was struck, the demons would be given fresh worlds and souls to consume, bolstering their forces and expanding the corruption domain of hell. The makers would be granted access to the flow of Argent. The procedure inside the soul spires is thus the captives are tortured until no semblance of humanity remains within them. Bereft of hope, the mortal soul is vulnerable and can be easily extracted. This we achieve with the machine from the enlightened mind of the Khan Maker herself, the Evulsor. Once the Evulsor has done its deed and the soul has been extracted, the victim's body is injected into the wasteland, where, as before, our cunning meddling it becomes demon over time. Another coin that I don't need anymore. This facility was built in secret. The Night Sentinels never knew of its existence. Built by Sentinel slaves, for a maker can never set foot in hell, nor demon in Erdak. Argent Denur served a great purpose to the maker. Flame part three. Yeah. Gather the volatile aura and store it in vast reservoirs. There is a coalesce coalesced there it is coalesced with wraith energy and subjected to the infernal fires of hell itself. In the heat of the primal fire, the essence is loosed and captured for our gain. The final stage of the process is the div dividend. Dividend of the gains. Jesus, man, so, so many of these words are hard to read for me. Vast quantities of the essence are fed directly to Argentineur to power our machine and drive our engine. The rest is reserved for the Khan Maker. Though she may never set foot in the Dark Realm, she has devised means to teleport essence to the Holy Land, that which she calls Urdak, to do the domain of angels. Her use of essence is unchallenged for it. For it was she and her court that gave us design to capture the essence, and her payment is just. All right, there's one more lore piece after this, I believe. Oh, and then three more Urdak lore pieces. I miss another secret. Flame boy.
return for access to more worlds for hell to devour. The Maker siphon energy from the dead. It is unholy and cannot stand any longer. Fuck. Really? How did I get how did I get surrounded by two manks that quickly, dude? Holy fucking shit, man. Oh my god. Everything is going so shit tonight, man. Really? Oh, fuck off, stupid carcass, man. Why the fuck? They die or not? Really? Well, that doesn't work. How did he even jump that quickly, man? What the fuck? Man, it's going absolute shit. Like, uh, it's probably because I haven't slept well tonight. My whole day was pretty fucking bad. I mean, I'm not feeling that tired anymore, but... <sighs> I don't know, man. I just feel like absolute shit. That didn't go as I planned.
towers held aloft by two enslaved titans. Break the chains, drop it into the well below. My god, one gargoyle blocking me, man. What is that zombie? Oh god, I didn't want to YOLO in there. Uh, it's starting to go a little bit better. I also use my shoddy more. Oh my god, that I fucked up again. I should use my grenade. I'm like not using my grenades at all. Really? Why does the SSG not do anything against the zombies, man? Fuck my fucking life, dude.
I mean, I know it was like not super close, but come on. Fuck you, Prowler. That uh, survives a point blank hit, of course. Why did it lock on to a random enemy there instead of the Baron? What the fuck? This game is being so weird with the aim. Oh, and of course I fall down. Going absolute garbage. How, how many times I'm trying to heal every time I just get fucking wrecked. It's going garbage. Like, how does he survive that? I'm shotgunning a, a fucking pleb zombie and he doesn't fucking die. I don't get it. Where's the father? Where's the father? No father. 
I could have just BFG'd him, but I want to kill him without the BFG. And there's no fucking fodder anywhere. Fucking dumb. Locking onto the wrong enemy. Jump pad, would you mind working? I don't know what it is today with this game, man. Nothing is working. My lock-ons and shit are not working. It's just going like absolute garbage today. Again, like, I use my fucking lock-on on the Tyrant and it locks on to something else behind it. Like, what the fuck is happening with these lock-ons, man? Oh, great, yeah. Well, I didn't even... I grabbed the fucking wall and it teleports me. I do not get this. And I get stuck again. Seriously, man, there's something absolutely fucking broken with this game. Lock ons are fucking glitched. Christ, all fucking mighty, dude. This is absolutely not the same how I experienced it the first time. Again, 
I use the hookshot on the gargoyle. What does the hookshot do? It, it grabs a fucking zombie to the right of me. It's fucking broken. Are you still alive? I killed him. Oh my god. Again, I lock onto the Arachnatron. What does the rocket do? Lock onto a shitty pleb enemy next to it. It keeps fucking happening every fucking time. Of course. I'm not even gonna bother playing the second level tonight. I'm too fucking annoyed. Really? Fuck off! This is so fucking retarded. Didn't take me this many times last try last time. Yeah, of course. A fucking carcass. Can I move, please? Point blank, man.
Strong weapon key. Lock on! Jesus Christ, man, the meat hook doesn't respond. Finally, Jesus, everything went like it was supposed to. You must break the chain and destroy the Argent transmitter, then ride the energy flow to Erda. <sighs> Took me a fucking hour to get past this fucking level, Jesus fuck, man. So fucking annoyed. one collectible So, what I think, like what I'm seeing right now, is that just because, like, I get into, like, some small, well, small, like, getting into some arguments 
through my day through my day with people and like Basically, if there's some annoyances happening in my daily life, that I get annoyed by something, it greatly seems to impact me how quickly I get annoyed at a video game. So, yeah. Because I know today I had somewhat of, like, annoying moments happen to me that caused me to shout to someone and they shouted back and stuff like that. So I'm really noticing that really just impacting me. Like I just get super annoyed by that, by anything really. So just hope I can calm my shit a bit. Uh. <sighs> right, so we've entered the uh, Urdak, the world of the makers Did I even get the last lore oh, hell. Oh. wait by I got hundred percent there fuck pretty sure I got a hundred percent there what the fuck any long-lasting arguments or just that kind of day. It's just that kind of day where there was some miscommunication between me and a family member and you know, you get into an argument and there's some tension and some shouting and like, I don't think it's any coincidence that that happening, just instantly noticing that a game that I've been enjoying the whole time just gets on my nerves as crazy like World of Tanks or something. <laughs> Where I'm just raging and getting salty instantly and then starting to make even more mistakes. And it's really affecting my gameplay and my mood apparently. And it's... Like I've noticed it very clearly now because I've been like on a very long streak of not having any drama in my life. I'm so weird that this part of the fucking thing didn't get grabbed. I got a hundred percent, so what the fuck? Or am I blind now? Or was this Urdak? No, this is Urdak. I find it here. Fuck, I'm an idiot. Anyway, this is the Maker World. It looks a little bit like Warframe. Welcome to Warframe. <laughs> yeah, see Urdak. Okay, so this is Urdak. This is Ur yeah, this is Urdak, the homeworld of the Makers. A brief age analysis of the structures and architecture here indicates that this world is older than any other in our database. Similarities can also be drawn to multiple pan-galactic religions indicating that the Maker's influence was not limited to Argent Dinur and that over eons their influence has spread across the galaxy and potentially the universe. Some imagery is akin to religious icons in the Orion Cygnus arm of the Milky Way, an area which includes Earth. The name Urdak is common tongue in the Maker language, but can be approximately translated to the word for paradise or heaven in hundreds of different languages, further cementing the theory that the Makers have had a religious impact on mortal beings for millions of years. Despite their seeming godliness, the Makers have a past. At some point in their ageless history, there is mention of the, f the Father, a logical alien entity that endowed the Makers with their vast knowledge and technical ability. Analysis of Maker artifacts and Scripture indicates that the father may have been a singular being that split to form the maker race or instead transferred his incalculable power into the vast structure known as Urdak, which then birthed the makers in perpetuity. It seems that the makers, though exceptionally long-lived, eventually suffer from 
some form of biological and mental degradation, at which point they undergo a process known as the transfiguration, wherein they allow a voluntary death and resurrection somehow tied to the father. This process may have been complicated or damaged in the recent past. There are no records of how the father came to the Makers when it was first discovered, or if it had any physical forms before the Makers. The first mention of the father is regarded is in regard to a building named the Luminarium. It was a temple of sources where makers would go to seek answers. The essence of the father was stolen by one of their own, by a maker referred to as the Seraphim. Who the Seraphim is or what he did with the father's consciousness is not unknown. Records show that one day the Luminarium simply ceased to communicate and that a deep scan of his data banks revealed no remaining trace of the entity. Hordak itself exists in an anchor state, utilizing highly advanced dimensional shift technology to allow a static position at a subquantum level. This essentially inverts their position in relation to how both planes of existence are fixed outside the bound of the known universe. A lower and higher reality than Khan. A ho lower and higher reality. Khan Maker oversees all within Urdak and now utilizes Argent Energy to prevent to prevent the transfiguration. People really hate this platforming section. But with that, it makes sense if you get yeeted. To where you're not supposed to go. So maybe I just touched the WAs and D unnecessarily. I don't know. Maybe I did something wrong. Alright, so I guess you have to correct your steering a little bit to the portals, it seems. I just had to move a little bit. Looks like an Iron Man head. up there. I remember how to get there. And I overshoot it. Great. <laughs> oh, climb a wall.
because I might as well unlock some skins. Hi, Mark. You cannot stop the procession. We will not be able to control it. No! Loot pinadas. Let's do this. What? I was standing behind the man. How did I die? That was so weird. That was a fucking waste.
Um. Sent into Cerberon, hell yeah. I kind of sin. As it is written in the prophecies of ancient sentinel scripture, the titans, towering elder demons of the infernal age, would return unearthed from their immortal slumber. The titans are believed to be harbingers of the end times, primordial forces of chaos and destruction. Born from the tortured spirit of the betrayer's son, it was by Hell's unholy design that the icon of sin was given flesh. The fearsome titan forged from the essence of mortal suffering once a bore, once bore a human soul, <clears throat> a soul now transmorgified and entombed within the still beating heart of his former self, the betrayer, seeking to free his son from eternal torment within the depths of hell, made an agreement, a pact sealed by the black fates of darkness that promised to grant his son the chance to return from death. The son would live again, but not as human. In hell's endless cruelty, the son was damned to become the icon, an inhumane existence bound only to his former humanity by the now disembodied undying mortal heart. Challenges were a thing. Oh, I already did that. Okay. So, I learned something from uh, from King Dime uh, last night. You can actually skip this uh, block if you really try, and therefore skip an entire fight like that. Which for us, which prevents you from doing this puzzle. Well, prevents you, which makes it unnecessary to do this. Guess a little speedrun strat though. Oh hey Chris, nice to see you man, how you doing? You finished uh, Ori? Oh, you want the sequel now? Is it that good? That's good to hear, man. That motivates me to play it again soon. <laughs>
Pay another coin, nice. That means I can, I believe, get, let's get the skin for the plasma. Oh shit, there was a totem here. I remember where it was. There we go. I'm getting used to my new... I didn't want to change I am, but okay. I'm getting used to the new key I found to uh, switching equipment. Fuck. Oh my god, this stuff's a hunter. Oh, well, that one doesn't work. Why did he not drop shards? I set them on fire. Same for that gargoyle. achievements for blind force and jesus some of these are fucked like super specific achievements where i have to do super specific things or without dying oh basically ultra nightmare and the more i'm playing the second playthrough a nightmare the more i'm believing that i'm never gonna be able to finish ultra nightmare <laughs> Just not consistent enough. <laughs> Con maker. Every 10,000 years, the collective maker consciousness known as the Singularity births a con maker, a supreme being destiny bound to lead all of Erdak until the next con is born. Singularity, which contains the conscious soul data for every maker that has ever lived and died, processes and refines this data as a means of selective evolution. As, hier as hierarch of the conscious, 
neural matrix to which each maker is interconnected, it is physically impossible for a maker to refuse the collective order of shared consciousness and disobey a con. The system has functioned without error since the creation of Erdak until now. With the disappearance of the father, the makers are incapable of creating a successor to the Khan lineage, allowing the existing Khan to hold her claim to the throne indefinitely. So it was you who attacked me. guys know that the icon of sin grows more powerful the longer it is on earth fuck is with my delayed controls again man what the fuck Get a marauder here. Yeah, there he is. Need to go heal. Why the fuck are you not staggering, my boy? I pretty sure I hit him dude what the fuck <laughs> okay another coin Oh, 
That's a regular coin. Bye bye Vega. It was nice knowing you. System acquired. Setting a course for the Earth dimension now. I can't see now. Am I the father of the neighbor? You must get the other teleporter rings aligned before it's too late. The gate must be reactivated. The longer the icon of Sith. Hmm, that's interesting actually. He will Is he the father? Why would he be asking that? Maybe he is the father. Maybe do like I don't remember. Was it Sa who, who who got Vega originally? Where where does Vega come from? Interesting. Was that sound? Got BFG ammo here. I'm gonna actually use two rounds here. I should probably just use the crucible, actually, not the BFG. Oh, that's not where I should have jumped. Yeah, thanks for spawning me in the middle of the crowd game. I appreciate that. Those are pretty cool looking. These revered figures serve as speakers for the conmaker, earning positions of leadership and high esteem with their species. Angels of Urdak are gifted with uh, orator rings, golden halos fused to their armor as a symbol of their status and rank. These divine beings occasionally gather in conclaves or at the summons of the con maker but typically do not work together instead being assigned as independent ad advisors and overseers amongst maker controlled worlds I see.
BFG. So good. What? That was weird ass mess. Fairly easy crystal <clears throat> Don't be of GM though. Yeah, thank you. And that um, I guess. Yep, of course I spawned in the group of demons. Oh my god, for fuck's sake, man. Oh my fucking god, dude. That was dumb as shit. What were those rockets locking on to? Again, just not locking on to the correct target. It's so fucking dumb. Mank.
Use the fucking meat hook. Spectre. made that jump yet. Alright, we've got more control in the air than I thought. I yeah, buff totem. Ah, uh, to the left, I'm going the wrong way. Get the fuck up! Really, what the fuck? That block. There's a soul sphere. The fuck just hit me. I right, will need that. Ammo though.
Oh my god, really? What the fuck hit me from behind? Fuck. Yeah, I'm not doing extra lives mode. I can't beat that. Hello, jump maybe? Help if the meat hook actually grabbed onto the enemy, you know? Oh my god. I'm fucking up my weapon switching so much. I mean, I can use the Crucible on the Tyrant, if I have to. Cyberman stuck again. Father? Any father? Nope, no father found error. Completely misses. Unfucking real, dude. I can't even get close enough to the tyrant. My aim is so off, dude. Fucking tree in the way. I cannot aim for shit with the uh, scope, man.
need to find a better way to switch between that and that. Fully aligned, the dimensional gate to Earth is now open. Get to the landing platform and pass through the portal. Earth does not have much time left. Bozoik. That's the wrong weapon. <clears throat> I was wondering what all this is. Well, time for the bows.
Uh, please don't fall off. Get on the... Lock on, please! Just got yeeted off the fucking platform, GG. Stop going off. What the fuck? Grab the ledge, you moron. Not grabbing the fucking ledge. I mean, the boss isn't, this boss, I think, generally, generally isn't too hard, uh, as long as you watch out for the pain sectors and falling off the map. Kind of need, uh... And then I die at the last health because the fucking drones wouldn't come near me. Jesus Christ. Okay, so that's another uh, issue. Another difficulty factor, I guess. When the drones don't come to you, you are fucked. Not sure why I shot that, but... So I think I need nine rockets to l delete her health. Drones, hello? Yeah, see now when she's lower in health, she will spam pain sectors even more. And fire and shit, that becomes really annoying. That was insane platforming. Not sure how I did that, but okay. Drones, plus. 
around the fucking pain sector. Alright, got it. She does have like those tentacle thingies similar similar to like was it Samur or something that gave Doom Guy that power? I'll save the final level for tomorrow. Got a lot of new uh, skins, I think. Some weapon skins. Praetor, Praetor, Praetor. Oof. So combat shotgun we got. Oh, okay, so Praetor, that's like the color, the uh, Praetor suit color skin. Astro for that. Plasm. Heavy cannon gets greater. Cool. Mshkinj. Just a chain gun. Ah, I understand, man. I saw you in the viewer list for a while. But you have a good timing, I guess, because I will take a little break now because I was a little bit annoyed earlier, so I think a good stretch would do me good now. So, yeah, your timing is good when it comes to that. a little bit annoyed during the first few levels but that had to do with things that happened earlier today <laughs> 